Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this Google Nest Hub second generation. I just did an unboxing of this. This is their 7 inch display and it does sleep. It monitors your sleep. So I'm going to show you how to set this up when you first plug it in. So when we first plug the power in, you're going to come up with a screen that tells you that you need to set it up. You first need to get the Google Home app on your smartphone or your tablet and then we're going to set the set it up. Okay, so once you've got your Nest Hub plugged in, you get this, this is your first screen you see after it powers up. You've got to go to this home, you got to go to the Google Home. you got to install this app, and you'll have to sign into your Gmail account. So we're going to click on this, Home, Google Home. This shows all my devices. Now it says click on the little Add button. I'm going to click on the Plus button right there. Set up a device. New device. Okay, so I've got a minor under home, so click next. Now it says it's looking for devices. So it says a Nest Hub was found. Would you like to set up the Nest Hub? Click yes. So now you got to use the camera. So I'm using my tablet. So my tablet has a camera. I'm going to point that camera at that QR code. And then I'll hit the scan button. Okay, so it says the home app needs permission to use your camera. I've got to set up permissions. So when you click the scan the barcode, it's going to ask you what you're, if you want to give it permission. So yes, while using the app. Okay, so now I go, I, I'm positioning my camera and I'm going to scan the QR code. So now it's connecting. All I was using was my tablet's uh, camera. You, if you're using your phone, just point your phone camera at that QR code on the screen. So it says it's connecting to the Nest Hub. The phone or tablet may disconnect during setup. So this has taken a little bit. This is it's been about 30 seconds so far. Okay, so it said connected. Then it wants you to give you give it permission. You can tell it no thanks. Uh, it'll send crash reports. And where's the device? So pick a room. Um, you can either pick a room you already have or create a new. New bedroom. Click next. Name it. And hit continue. This is where you have to log into your Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi network on here. Click OK. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi. So if your tablet is already connected to the Wi-Fi, you're going to make sure your tablet or your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi. I imagine it's going to send, yeah, it's going to send the information to the unit. So now you can see the unit is doing something different. And of course, it's got to do an update. So I'm sure this will take a little bit. And it says before you can back here on the app, you've got to do some more stuff. Um, you got to click next. So if you click on these, so these are just looks like some things you need to know. Click next. Back to it's it's updating. It's at thirty percent now. It's asking me if I want to do a voice thing where I speak into it so it matches my voice. I'm not going to do that right now. It's asking if you want to get personal results. Agree. So back to the Nest Hub. It's still updating. So this next step is you got to pick which voice. It sounds like that's a female voice. You click that. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Or this voice too, you click that. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So pick which one you want and click next. So the device is restarting over here. Looks like it did its update. Turn on gestures. Sure.
comes with uh, 14 days of ad free. So back up here, it restarted and now it says finish setup. Okay, so once I click that, it's taken me on a tour. It started talking to me. I can skip the tour or I can... Um, when you're ready, tap get started. I'm going to skip the tour. Well, I'll do it. First, I'll show you where to find settings. Swipe up from the bottom. This is where you can control some settings, like screen brightness, alarms, and a few other things. To hide these settings, swipe it away or tap anywhere. Now let's look at some things you can see on your home screen. To check our your day, swipe left from the right side of the screen. Now, here's the place where you can find information and actions chosen just for you, updated from morning to night. Next, go ahead and tap right here. Now, this is where you can find and control devices in your smart home, like lights and thermostats. Almost done. You can ask me all sorts of questions, and I'll do my best to get you an answer. Try asking me about the weather. Test it high of 44 and a low of final tip. If you want to learn more, you can always ask me, what can you do? We're all done for now. I'm really looking forward to being your Google Assistant. Okay, looks like it's set up ready to go. So an interesting thing, if you, so this is like the home screen, if you swipe to the right, it gives like a clock display. And if you tap the screen, it goes back to, now I'm sure over here on the app, it's asking me if I want to select uh, what photos I want to pick on here. So when I was walking through this, it says, see photos on your display. I can just, I can select recent highlights. When I picked the album, I wanted it. It brought it up down here and showed me some examples. And then I just click next. Here's where it starts talking about that sleep sensing. It says it comes with a preview. You can access all the sleep sensing features until next year. Maybe they're going kind to of want you to pay for it or something. So it says track your sleep using the Nest Hub. It says the Nest Hub does not have a camera. It uses motion sense, low power radar to detect movement and breathing. No distinguishing images of your body or face are generated. Okay. Looks like you got to agree to a bunch of stuff. And it's asking if you want to track your uh, sounds. You can select not now, but I'll, I'll click next. And again, you got to agree to a bunch of stuff. And over here, it has started to display that album I selected. I, I picked highlights, and so now my pictures are starting to show up over here. Get personalized. Sleep suggestions from Google Fit, sure. See more of your sleep data, sure. And I gotta go through and set a bedtime. When do I go to bed? Around 10 p.m. Wake up time, it's around five. Next, almost done, here's a review. Okay, and I'll click continue. It tells me I can learn about it. So it has a light sensor to adjust the screen. Click next, change the volume. So yeah, if you wanna change the volume, there is a switch on the right side. There's that little volume switch. Next, mic switch, so yeah, so that this is not a camera for se, but um, it's a mic switch, so if I slide the this, mic's off. so it says the mic's off, that's pretty cool. It, it also is kind of red, and then... The mic's back on. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now this does not have a camera, 
back over here and we gotta click done it says the display is ready okay so you had to have the Google Home app up and running and it does a lot of features and then you have to do some things on this so it looks like I'm done with this if I want to go back and change like the pictures or anything I can do that in here so on the Google Home page, if I just scroll down, there's the there's the master bedroom. It says it's a uh, gives me a display setting, and I can go into like settings and stuff. So now let's just play around with here. So when I t I'm using this volume key right here, it's kind of like a toggle up or down. So when I go up or down. And then, like I said, you can swipe to the left. That's the clock. So maybe if you go to bed, that's what you would leave it as. When you tap the screen, when you swipe down, some different stuff. Then swipe there. Huh, there's a lot to do with this. Swipe from the bottom. These are some settings. So I can change the screen brightness or I can turn ambient by hitting that auto button over here it turns the ambient on IQ on which means it'll adjust the display brightness I can control volume from the screen oh do not disturb huh, there's my alarm No problem. Tell me what needs to be improved. Oh, that must be like an improvement thing or something. And I can click click on the settings and it looks like I can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, I can change the, the, the pictures. Oh, I can just say it to change my photo frame. Hmm. So it's a pretty easy device to set up, but you do have to have another device to uh, walk through the Google Home app. But this thing's got a lot to explore. And I'm gonna do some more videos of how the sleep thing's working and different things like that. So if you could, check out my videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.